Good morning, welcome to Morning Outlook. This is Kim Watson speaking on Thursday the 11th of January. So looking at the euro dollar and well we saw uh, around about 61.8 retrace yesterday in the uh, uh, through the morning and which uh, finally sold off and uh, we're looking now at what's on the shorter time frames looking relatively weak. Um, We've, as I said, we saw this retracement. If we start breaking down here, I'm just looking as the daily 21 below us. It may just provide some support underneath the monthly pivot. Thereafter, it, we may see uh, a bit more of a, a follow through to the downside. Of course, the monthly pivot provided res, uh, support last time. It may, oops, sorry, it just may just do so again. Already seen the daily pivot taken out. Um, Daily S1 is just below that monthly pivot again at uh, the 500 moving average, the hourly 500 just be below that, which probably equates not too far away from that daily 21. So all in all, is there is some support below there, but um, what we're seeing here looks relatively weak to me um, and in terms of its uh, pattern there. Yes, we did have the surge up yesterday on the comment regarding uh, China not um, buying treasuries and then that's been denied through the Asian session um, since so uh, well, there we go back to normal so that didn't last long did it right so that's the euro looking weak um, looking for retracements to sell into at the moment uh, cable um, again softening here on the daily a little bit more um, it doesn't look quite so aggressive as it's come down. Still got the monthly pivot as a target below, which uh, uh, may eventually get to. Again, really for me, I'm looking at uh, for a retrace this morning. It's already caught the pivot, not too far off its S1. Broken yesterday's lows already. Uh, could do with some sort of retracement to uh, try and join the party a little bit back with a target looking at that monthly pivot still. So... Um, Relatively simple on those two in terms of the bearishness at the moment. Of course, things can change just after 8 and I will be looking to trade after 8 o'clock. Dolly Yen had benefited yesterday um, and held its gains, but um, notice it's uh, shifting, it started shifting uh, last in this current session, last session. Um, it had quite a kicker there. It's probably over overstretched itself a little bit there and may have a bigger bit bigger uh, room for a bit maneuver upwards um, so looking at where we are now we have got resistance at the uh, 50 ma but if we, if we do or potential resistance around that 50 ma that has been touched before maybe a potential target for the upside there but otherwise i'd be looking towards the r1 um, may, maybe even the um the 200 but that may be uh, leading into tomorrow it's quite a ask in terms of range it's possible if we did that at least that range yesterday so it, it certainly is a possibility but uh, there are some upside targets there if we continue to see this dollar strength starting that's starting here it's a bit slower on the yen the yen's been stronger so i'd be a bit more wary of it but uh, if that follows through there's the potential aussie dollar we also picked up yesterday. Uh, it, it held on to um, it, it's uh, some of its gains. It's pushed up this morning. Um, retail sales came out well better than expected. It's pushed it up this morning, but uh, there is a big divergence on the dailies there, and it may just continue to diverge. It's just pitched out through the prior divergence we saw earlier in this week. Now, as I said, it's uh, <coughs> it's. Uh, on the bigger time daily time frame is still diverging it's not quite a divergence here it was inverted head and shoulders actually sitting on this four hourlies but uh, that's been triggered it may may yet still have some legs as i said earlier in the week the commodity currencies seem to have uh, done reasonably well um but uh, it has put in a 60 minute uh, 60 minute pivot swing bearish um it there is the potential for it to roll over. Already caught the daily pivot R1. It's it's probably again. I, I look at this most mornings and think it's probably best left alone. And I'm not thinking too dissimilar at the moment. Although, as I said, from a bigger picture, there is that negative uh, uh, divergence there. Um, okay, and finally, the Canadian dollar. So the Canadian dollar. It's. Uh, Seen a bit of weakness. Um, there's, there's suggestions that Trump may uh, um, rip up the treaty. 
um, not, uh, the American North American Treaty, which uh, uh, could have a knock-on effect on the Canadian dollar, and this is what we're seeing coming through here in terms of this weakness of it pushing up. Um, looking from where we are at the moment, okay, that sort of had a real kicker yesterday afternoon or evening. Has got a daily pivot untouched today, so there is a potential draw there, but the trend is certainly it's gradual, but it is to more towards the upside than anything else. So higher lows, higher highs. Maybe if it did pull back there, it could give us a, an opportunity to buy. But uh, the way it's moving at the moment, choppiness here, it's uh, not the most simple thing to be trading. There may be better markets to be trading this morning. So that's pretty much it. Um, and one of those markets, I would say, might not be Bitcoin. I was just um, talking to our traders in the room here, and that's taken a bit of a bit of a hammering this morning as uh, some uh, South Korean, um, I say exchanges, crypto exchanges, but uh, they've been uh, clamping down in South Korea, and it's uh, having it maybe having this knock on effect. Although I see it's bounce, it's sort of bouncing at the moment, but that's one hell of a, a drop off there in the, in the Bitcoin. Anyway, I'm not going to be talking about that every morning, but I just thought I would just throw it in as it's uh, hot news at the moment. Have a great one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.